Hello! This presentation gives a brief overview of the new features that Office Mix adds to PowerPoint. The Office Mix software consists of three primary components. First is the fact that you can author in the familiar environment of PowerPoint. As you can see, I've been able to add in myself giving the presentation along with my own live inking annotations to my PowerPoint presentation and share that with you. Next, you can make the PowerPoint presentations interactive by adding things like interactive exercises from our partners or content such as interactive web pages or quizzes and polls that you create. Finally, there's a mixed web portal that lets you manage all of your content. You'll be able to see who's watched your lecture, how much of it they've viewed, and of course view any responses provided to any interactive elements. In this presentation, I'll show slides that highlight some of the capabilities of Mix, such as the ability to include animations in your slide, the ability to add audio and or video narration, rich ink capabilities, including hyperlinks and live web pages into your presentation, authoring and collecting answers to quizzes and polls, embedding interactive simulations and educational videos from our partners CK12 and Khan Academy, and the ability to easily capture images or even live video of your screen in order to give a live demo as part of a PowerPoint presentation. You may be familiar with the popular educational website Khan Academy, in which the instructor Sal Khan uh, teaches students while using freeform inking to show his uh, lessons and annotate content online. And so if you use the record button on the Office Mix toolbar, you will also be able to use live ink either to draw on a blank slide like I'm doing here, uh, or to enhance your existing slides and annotate and emphasize points as you make them. And this is a rich uh, new style of presentation uh, that we now support in PowerPoint with Office Mix. On the next two slides, you'll see examples of interactive quizzes uh, that have been created using the Mix software. These will allow your uh, audience to give feedback uh, or answer your questions, and then you'll be able to collect and view those answers through the portal. Office Mix has partnered with external content providers, Khan Academy and CK12, who both provide educational media, and using the insert quiz and app button on the Office Mix toolbar, you can add interactive educational exercises and videos from these sources to your Mix presentations. The next couple of slides show examples of that. Uh, they also show examples of embedding a full web page into a presentation. So of course you can use PowerPoint's normal features to embed hyperlinks as I've done here, but in the next couple of slides you'll see an example of a full Wikipedia page actually embedded in the presentation so that users can browse and click on the links. This shows an example of how I've used the Office Mix add-in to capture a live screen recording of my computer. In this case, I'm using the live screen recording to show a demo of the Mix software. So I'm logging into our website, uh, mix.office.com, and just walking through the steps of how to download the software. And so it's very straightforward. Uh, I can show you the gallery of different example presentations. Uh, I can show you the options to watch my own presentations or to manage the presentations that I've created. So it's very simple to create a demo screen recording like this using the Mix add-in for PowerPoint. The mix.office.com website that I showed you in the screen recording in the prior slide is where people will go to watch the videos that you publish to our portal. So you'll simply publish uh, your own Office Mixes to the cloud and then you'll use the share functionality to generate a URL that you can send to your uh, students, colleagues, friends, etc. so that they can view your lessons. When they log in uh, with the URL you send them, they will see a player, it's an HTML5 player that shows up in their web browser. So they don't have to have PowerPoint or Mix or even necessarily Windows in order to view uh, your lesson. So the lesson player is universal and people will have standard playback controls to pause and play. You can advance slide by slide. So these little tick marks in the timeline indicate uh, slide demarcations. 
Uh, also, these little circles in the timeline indicate places where there is interactive content, uh, such as a quiz or an interactive web page or an interactive activity from Khan Academy. And people can also, uh, of course, adjust the volume or change the playback rate. So you could speed things up up to a factor of 2x, for example, if you wanted to. As the person who is publishing a lesson, you'll also be able to view analytics about any lessons you've published. So for example, for each slide in a presentation, you'll be able to see how many people have viewed it, how much time they spent on it, etc. If there's a slide that's an interactive activity like a quiz, you can actually click on the slide itself to dive in even deeper so you can see things like who answered the quiz and what answers they gave. And of course, you can also break down the analytics by users. So you can see individually who actually watched your presentation uh, and how far into it they got, uh, and also performance uh, and answers to any particular quizzes and polls that you had embedded into your presentation. Thank you for your attention. I hope you're as excited about Office Mix as I am. And I'll leave you now so that you can get started uh, downloading the PowerPoint plugin from our URL and creating your own Office Mix presentations to share with other people. Thanks.